GM unveils the Chevy Silverado EV. Welcome back to Text to Nation. I'm Fred Fishkin. We're happy to have with us Scott Huskison, Lead Program Manager, Battery Electric Trucks at GM. Thanks for taking the time, Scott. Good morning. Great to be with you, Fred. Well, here it comes. The Silverado EV designed and priced to appeal to a really a range of customers and take on competitors like uh, the Ford F-150 Lightning, Tesla Cybertruck, the Rivian, and more, getting crowded. So let's go, Scott. Give us the overview of the new Silverado EV. Well, the Silverado EV, as you mentioned, is a brand new full-size electric pickup truck from General Motors. It's really developed from the ground up to be a, a full-size pickup truck with all of the capability that the customer wants. We built it off of this Ultium EV platform that we're very proud to share with the Hummer EV. And it really does have a revolutionary mix of performance and style and technology and capability that customers are going to love. And it just happens to be emissions free. So what's so different about this uh, Ultium platform? And I think you call it the Ultify software platform. Yep. So Ultify is, is, is a software platform that enables us to do continuous improvement over time. So um, a lot of people will know that as like uh, upgrades over the air, so OTA upgradability. But bringing Ultify into a pickup truck market means, for, for instance, you could maybe change the theme of your interior after you buy the truck. Or you can potentially unlock other capabilities that are developed over time. So being the first Chevrolet with Ultify on board and designed around that architecture, uh, the software architecture Ultify is a great advantage to the end user because again, they can upgrade their truck over time. It can get and, better than when they bought it. And Ultium is, is, the, is the battery platform, the chassis? Yep, so the, the battery structure architecture that the truck is built on is our Ultium EV platform. And like you said, that's the core of what enables us to do things like this Silverado EV. It gets us a clean sheet approach to a pickup truck, which you couldn't necessarily have any other way. And that enables us to have things like 400 miles of range, um, 664 horsepower, you know, up, up to 10,000 pounds of towing out of the gate. And later on, we'll introduce a model with 20,000 pounds of towing. Truly impressive numbers. Well, that 400 mile range, that, that is for the, the initial models coming out. You haven't uh, disclosed yet, right? Uh, what's going to be in the standard model, which is, I think, did I hear right? Under $40,000, right? Uh, correct. Yep. Our 400 miles range truck is our uh, RST first edition. And our even our work trucks in the first year are going to have 400 miles of range. And as you know, after those models are introduced, we will also be bringing in a uh, starting price entry of 39.9. That's terrific. And another big feature that uh, was talked about during uh, Mary Barra's keynote was the ability to get up to 100 miles in a 10 minute charge, which is, I guess it goes a long way towards uh, eliminating range anxiety that some folks might still have. I don't yeah, know why with a 400 mile range, but <laughs> yeah, we're, we're really proud that that Ultium architecture allows us to do up to 350 um, bolts DC fast charge. And like you said, that's hundred miles in 10 minutes. So not only do you have 400 miles on tap, but then if you do stop and recharge on a DC fast charger, a public one, by the way, you can get up to hundred miles in 10 minutes. It's incredibly fast. Let's talk about some of the other features here, uh, including safety features that, uh, that are, that are coming along with the, I guess, uh, GM would, what you call cruise and, and, and the technology that you've developed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're, we're excited that this truck also has, the RST has a uh, super cruise with trailering, which is our hands, hands-free driving assistance technology that you know, today has over 200,000 miles of, of mapped roads that you can use it on. And then also, like you said, safety is a big important part of, of what not only regular you know, retail customers are looking for, but fleet customers specifically are asking for fleet uh, safety features. And you know this truck is loaded standard with um, automatic emergency braking. It has Ford collision alert. It has uh, pedestrian detection, a lane following, all of these safety features that maybe in the past you, you wouldn't be able to get. Well, there are other features too that uh, I think you wanna brag about a little bit, the ability to charge, the ability to charge another EV. Tell, tell me 
about that? And can this plug into your house too? Yeah, the Silverado EV is, is a really uh, cool 10.2 available kilowatts of offboard power. So that's a lot of power that maybe you use that to charge your campsite. You're out camping with your family or you're at a job site and you need to power some tools or you're, you're at your home, like you said, and, and you need to bring some power into the home. Maybe there was a power outage that that will be a, an opportunity. But another great thing here uh, for the Silverado EV is that we can charge other EVs. So does that mean if I call uh, like AAA or something or, or a GM service <laughs> that, I, that I haven't paid attention and I've run out of battery that uh, I can get help? Yeah, and, and exactly right. And, and really, one of those things is, is, you know, when we talk to our fleet management people, you know, fleet's a big deal for us. They said, you know, we're, we're concerned maybe that some of our fleet drivers are just not going to pay attention and maybe they run out of juice on their way or they're at the job site and they've, and they've you know, used up more range than they intended. The fleet manager can drive another Silverado EV out there and charge the first one and get it back to the to the charger network. So it's a big deal to be able to charge pretty much anything that you may want to plug into, either a 110, a 240, or even with the accessory cord, another vehicle straight from the charge port. So Scott, with all of this taking place and uh, GM's got a lot more EVs coming uh, in the next year or two as well, tell us what your thoughts are about the consumer shift to this, how fast this acceptance is going to take place. I truly believe that again, with vehicles like the Silverado EV or, you know, Mary Barra announced that we're going to have an Equinox EV and she also teasered a Blazer EV. When customers get into these vehicles, they're going to know that they're just like the vehicles they have today, but they're better. And they just happen to be EV. We look at what the customer's looking for. We look at what they love about their vehicles today and what they really don't like about their vehicles today. And we try to put all of that into a new vehicle. A great example on the Silverado EV is we added a multi-flex mid, a mid gate, right? So you could have a short box pickup truck that is a, a typical, you know, five foot 11 uh, pickup truck box, but then you can fold the mid gate down and put drywall in there. And if it's raining outside, your drywall safe inside your truck, not getting rained on. Those are things that the Ultium platform can give you that you don't have today. And so when customers come to a showroom and they're going to be able to see those advantages of an EV, and then it happens to be emissions free. So it's around the, the focus on the customer and then providing them with a sustainable, you know, emissions free vehicle also. And up front, uh, there, there is some storage space too. I think you, you're, you call it uh, the e-trunk. Yeah, absolutely. The e-trunk up front where traditionally you might have to accommodate an engine and a radiator and all of those things with an internal combustion engine truck. Now you have a big giant storage bin up front. Really excited about that. So pre-orders are open now. Tell me about it. Yeah, so if customers wanna know more about the truck, they can go to Chevrolet.com and they can raise their hand, get a reservation for one. They can see more pictures about the work truck and the RST first edition. They can see some videos and they can even replay Mary's keynote, I believe. Terrific. Again, it's Chevrolet.com. Scott Hoskison, thank you so much for taking the time with us. Thanks for having us, Fred.